Hey guys, Klonga here, and today we are going to be reviewing the General T27, which is the newest premium tank to enter into the game as of yesterday, which is Tuesday, today is Wednesday, um, and if you're watching this later, it might not be the newest, who knows? Uh, but this is an auto-loading Czechoslovakian medium tank at tier 8, and it very, it very, <clears throat> it fits the line very well. Uh, I kind of wish this was the tech tree, the tech tree tank at tier 8, because it matches the Skoda and the TVP very, very well. But it's not. And right away, some of you might be wondering, okay, what do they do to it? It comes from PC. It's probably been nerfed. Not really. Um, the the the, uh, the armor is non-existent and exactly the same. The mobility is non-existent and exactly the same. The turret traverse is, is the same. The hull traverse is the same. The view range is the same. The gun depression, gun elevation is all the same. The penetration and alpha is all the same. The interclip reload is all the same. Three rounds per magazine is all the same. However, there is a little bit they changed with the gun. They nerf the reload from 24 seconds to 25. So you have a one second longer reload, which really isn't a big deal. But the big thing they changed is they changed the accuracy from 0.38 down to 0.35. They buffed the accuracy and they buffed the gun handling. Your aim time has been buffed from 2.2 seconds down to 2.1. And I will take those over the one second shorter reload any day of the week because then you can actually use your 1.8 seconds interclip reload more effectively and so if anything this tank has actually been buffed all right and so how much is this tank going to cost you if you decide to buy this uh, let me let me get those prices up if you get the general primed it's 14,830 gold if you get the ultimate it's 12,530 if you get the loaded it's 10,605 and if you get just the tank itself it's 10,120 and right away, I'm going to tell you, that is not worth it. Um, your best your best bet with this tank and any other reskin in the game is to wait until it comes out, not a reskin, and buy it then, because you'll get it a whole lot cheaper. Uh, it used to be, if you bought a reskin, it was usually about the same price, if not just a little bit more expensive than the non-skin version, but it also came with permanent camouflage. Now, if you buy the reskin, it's more expensive. It costs more than buying the no-skin and putting permanent camo on. And you don't even get the permanent camo anymore. So getting the reskins is totally not worth it anymore. So that's 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 my take on it. Um, but there we go. That's the quick synapse of the tank. You're probably also wondering what kind of money it makes. Uh, let's see. I actually have the list right here. It's 50% silver bonus, which is perfectly average. And 10% XP bonus, which is interesting because I think mediums at tier 8 usually have a 15%. So 10% is a bit low. But let's pull it out two, two games now. Um, vents. Vertical stabilizer and optics is what I have. Uh, I think I think I would I would recommend that on it for anybody because 380 meters view range, the vents will help with the view range. You don't necessarily need to enhance gun lane drive unless you're going to be sniping more, but you can if you want. And vertical stabilizer and optics are just a must on pretty much every single medium tank in the game. You just need those on your on your tanks. Almost any tank, any tank that can take a vertical stabilizer, you just take it. It's as simple as that. And optics for me is a must as well because that's just that's 10 percent better view range than anyone who doesn't take optics and so i'm outperforming them without even being a better player right so that's what i would do so that's my take and then the vents just boosts everything because you don't you can't take gun rammer may as well and this thing is gonna probably be most compared to the Otis. what's that thing the Pergetto 35 36 whatever it's called the tier 8 premium italian medium for sure this is gonna be compared to that but this thing i think is just better uh, because the reload is, you just have so much more DPM. What's the, wait, what is this thing's DPM anyway? It's, it's 1500, 15, over 1500. Okay, that's not even that great. <laughs> but, uh, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Otis thing, the Skoda thing is like, not the Skoda, the, the Italian thing is like, uh, isn't it like 1200 or something? On a good day? <clears throat> and it just fluctuates depending how quickly you send your shells downrange. So, it's, uh, eh, you know, it can be annoying. So this is this is just definitely better. I mean, obviously having an auto reloader can be nice, but this guy—I don't know why he's standing still. I mean, he's tracked, but he stopped first. He had to stop to get tracked. Good to see you too, pig. Right, I'm gonna reload and fall back. This does not look like fun. No fun allowed. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting. But yeah, we'll play two live games. 
and then I'll give my final synapse of the tank. Um, there's also, of course, in the game, the Ragnarok, which just makes more money and has a 1.5 seconds inter interclip reload, has 320 alpha damage. It's probably just a better tank. But, oh, what do I want to do this game? As crazy as it is, as it is I, I don't know. No, no, there's no base to defend. I was going to go up here because of that flank is just lost. But perhaps I push with this flank. Anyway, the Ragnarok is a Crimson tank, so it's a rare tank, and you might not be able to buy it again. Just kidding, it's Wargaming, of course, they'll sell it again. But there's an, uh, uh, that, that thing makes insane credits, and it's probably just better than this other than the Gun Depression. But I think, uh, I think this is a pretty good one. But again, I'm going to try to get you guys to save as much money as you can. And if you're going to get this, wait for the next, wait for the non-skinned version. That's going to be so much cheaper. Hmm. He's just saving a shot for me. Weak spot. <laughs> Alright, our reload's not terrible. Not terribly long. I'm happy to have put one shot in. What a good game! <laughs> you got no, you got, you got nothing on me. Crap! Out of the frying pan and into the fire. That's what's going on right now. Hmm. <laughs> and, and this is this is one reason why I don't like auto loads at tier eight. I mentioned it yesterday during the stream. Is um, the games just go too fast, especially with the plus two minus two kind of matchmaking. And uh, this, you know, three shots, so 720 alpha, is just not enough. It's just not enough at a uh, at tier eight. It isn't. So. How does that one not hit? At least those ones did. I think my best bet is to climb. The G-Sword is going to be up here, but he's got really bad DPM. So I should probably just climb this. Clever girl. I bounced off. Like you do. Ah, oh, I didn't get him. I didn't ram him. Well, there's our game one. And uh, it was a sweep. And, and yeah, I think autoloaders currently in the meta of World Tanks Mercenaries, Console, Valor, whatever you want to call it, it just doesn't fit unless you have a fast reload and the high alpha with that autoloading mechanic. And maybe some armor to boot. Like the machine is one of those. It doesn't have a great reload, but it's fast enough to get in, get out, and has armor to boot. So uh, this thing is huge. Playing it is huge. And these corridor maps, like that one, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work when your team is getting stomped like that. I have no idea what I could have done. I could have gone to the left flank and died because no one went that way. I could have gone to bridge, but my entire team died on the bridge. And the flank I was on. We were going to win, and my team needed to push. Uh, we should have won. They had two tanks there. Two tanks! <laughs> uh, so, I, I'm not sure. And we had a tier 9 with us there. A tier 9 heavy. Versus their defender and 
super pushing. But you know, again, the one flank we should have won, our team didn't push, and that's just that's just the state of the game, right? And I, I was going to push it. I wanted to push it, but I don't think my team would have followed. <clears throat> so anyway, now we're top tier, and they match us up against an STA two. Well, kind of. They didn't really match us up against, but well, we'll see. Because they have two heavies and we have one. That isn't much of a heavy. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. No already. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off by going to the top of the hill because I'm fast enough. Oh yeah, like 22 power to weight is this thing? Is that what this thing has? 22.5, yeah. But it only goes 50. So you feel like a CDC. If you've ever driven a CDC... Okay, a CDC is like 30 horsepower per ton. But if you've ever driven a CDC, you know that you get up to speed immediately. And then you're like, how come I'm not going any faster? That's what this thing feels like. You get up to speed. You're going. You're cruising, and you're like, 50. But I feel like I could go so much faster. It's like, because you can, but you can't. Haha. -ha. Speed governors. Suck it, you know? Snake bite. But there's no arty. But yeah, we'll see how long we stay up here. Take a peek. Go boop, 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 and leave. They don't really have that much fast stuff other than the STA-2 and the Cromwell B. Which is a bit unfortunate. Because I don't really want to fight the SGA2 right away because that guy does have good DPM and gun depression. So he could probably t put two shots into me while I put three. And I don't think that's worth the trade this early. But if the Cromwell comes up, we'll just uh, we'll just smoke him. So we'll see. We shall see. A6. Sorry, little little tier six tank. I can't really pen the the tier eight tank. So I'm gonna shoot you because you're clearly the more valuable target. All right, we gotta see who else is coming up. No one. They just gave up the high ground. We'll put one more magazine in, and then we have to defend the base. There we go. Alright. My team can push this. They do not need me here. Back to the base we go. And let's uh, let's let everyone know. Because none of them are probably paying attention. N our nomad is. That's nice. At least there's someone who's been... Is he though? How does our prototype already have no health left? See, I'm going to use this bush so I don't get spotted. That's disappointing. We're going to keep them spotted, actually. Bush. But my team needs to... These guys need to do something. Alright, T28 prototype. Tank destroyer. Let them have it. Disappointed that I got spotted there, but so be it. Yeah, we're out of his render. He can't quite see us. The snake bot is dead. That's the chum who spotted me. That's a little disappointing, too. Bro. Hello. What do we do? Prototype just died. This is so rough. I'm gonna take the... I'm gonna take down here. Because this 228 died in a nice place where we can have some cover. 
Man, if only he didn't keep poking out sideways on. Could have been a different game. Could have been. Rest in peace, VK. That's some armor coming straight towards me. That's some real armor. Yeah. I know you guys are there. If I put two shots in. That's really disappointing. Incredibly disappointing. Nomad is dead. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Where are those going? I do not know. And he snaps me <clears throat> through through a building and a, uh, through this. He snaps me through this and I can't hit him <laughs> out in the open. Uh, oh my gosh. Let's do one more before we call it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wow. It's a good team. That's, uh... The second, the third to top. Pen two shots. No one penned more than three shots. Other than our Scorpion. And me. No one penned more than three. Mm, okay, let's jump into another one. Again, uh, our tank had no ability to carry that game. If I was in an STA 2... I probably would have stayed on top of the hill and killed those guys really, really quickly. As quickly as I could. And then I would have farmed the, the Dreadnought. Absolutely farmed him. Absolutely just farmed the living daylights out of him. And the IS-3 as he was in the field, I would have farmed him, he would have died. And then I could have loaded heat for the T-20 and the prototype as they advanced towards me. And I probably could have killed, maybe could have killed them as well. But I would have had a much better chance than something like the SA-2, which has preferential matchmaking. But it is what it is. Uh, it's just, like I said, autoloaders just, they don't fit. Our Nomad did nothing that game either. It's, it just doesn't work anymore. Especially with PlayStation now. And the YOLOs they do. It's just autoloaders, just, you don't want them. You don't want them. At tier 8, specifically. But we're top tier again, somehow. Uh, when I was playing it yesterday, it was tier 10, tier 10, tier 10, tier 10. So... You know, don't don't get this thing thinking you're going to be top tier a lot. You're not going to be. This is just a, a stroke of luck. As we're top tier again. And what do we do? I have no clue. I, I do, I do. I don't want them to, to win this. Hell, that thing is so stupid powerful from their side. It's so broken. Because your team can just can't move when they take that. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> we're going to take it. Hopefully before they get to it. That is the plan anyway. With our auto loader going 50, when I feel like we could go be going faster. Ah! At least it looks kind of cool. Run away! Just run away! Just run away! Uh, good, 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 good. He's running. <clears throat> another T20 oh my gosh 
The attacker two just got one shotted. He was stuck. So, he, but he pr probably didn't deserve that. Huh. Miss. Hit. Buzz off, pig bot. Again, I wish I didn't have an auto loader in that whole engagement. Would have been nice having a single shot. I would have just farmed them. But when you can isolate one person, that's when. That's when the auto loader is king. Right there. And that's the only reason I would want an auto loader, is for that clip right there. Is that situation. Otherwise, single shot is better. <clears throat> 100%. Who has me spotted? Ah, and now I have an awkward two shell magazine. Pig. Pig bot. Why are you still shooting at the Klonga? Arty bot. Botty Arty. Let's see. Arty needs to stop. On both teams. <laughs> that went exactly where I aimed it. Oh wait, no it didn't. This guy couldn't have known I was reloading. That was a dumb play by him. Because <clears throat> I wasn't spotted when I fired. That was an extremely dumb play by him. He should be dead right now. Easy. Blocked up with my gun because I'm a Jedi. You all know this to be true. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, come off it. Screw you, Ikea. Ah, oh, shoot, man. Ah, oh. Yeah. <clears throat> That's gonna be the review. I can't... This game is so dumb now. It really is. I don't know what more they want me to flip and do, man. I could have had this. If that freaking T-29 died with that shot, which he pulled out broadside on, I would have driven towards where he was and out of the view range of this guy, and then I wouldn't have had to travel towards these two clown brains who just drove around with the right bumper, right trigger, who couldn't shoot straight at all. But no. RNG said, nah, screw you. So I miss. This guy puts another shell into me. These two clowns had no idea what they were doing. T-29 had no idea what he was doing. This guy didn't even know what he was doing. He should never have yoloed me like that. He, he should have died earlier, but 
It just so happened I only had one shell left. Yeah, it is what it is. But again, it's just like, what are these freaking teams, man? What just, where do these come from? Where do they come from? What was this guy? I saw him going in for the T29. I'm like, yes, we're going to win this. And he puts one shot in. <laughs> Doesn't even kill a T29. Man. Ugh. Tanks don't fix teams. They really don't. They really, really don't. No. I, you're better off with the Ragnarok. If you already have the Ragnarok, you don't need this. Not at all. And the Ragnarok, what makes that thing better is its, its clip. 960 damage is a much bigger game changer than 720. Um, and if you miss one shot in this and one shot in the Ragnarok, you're still you're doing so much more. You're doing four, 640 in the Ragnarok, missing one shot. And you're only doing 480 in this, missing one shot. So you're kind of better off with the Ragnarok, in my own opinion, for sure. But, you know, that's my opinion. But that's why you're here, right? For my opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. To what I say. All right, guys, that's going to be the today's video. Um, a review of the general. We got exactly zero wins. I'm curious, what is our win rate in this piece of turd? Let's see. I, I'm talking about the game itself, not necessarily the tank. But let's see what it is in the tank. But I, I wouldn't buy it. Thank you, Josh, for buying it for me. As I never would. 33%. Very cool. We're not doing anything wrong in it, I don't think. I mean, wait, let's go look at the teams again. Second to top. Tier 9 game. Our tier 10 was shooting HE with the top gun. Okay. And he scored 5th. Second to top. Nobody broke 1,000 damage except the Scorpion who sat in one spot the entire game. Then the very top. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, that's the tank. Um, wait for it to become cheaper. Wait for the reskin to disappear. And get the regular skin if you're going to get it. Save your money. Save your money. If you already have the Ragnarok, don't even bother. Save your money. Uh, 202 pen is not very good, especially on a tank that has to fight tier 10s. Not very good at all. That's uh, that's my take. That is my take. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit. And the description below he's got a youtube channel of course and uh make sure you go look this up elsewhere too go see the other content creators and see what they have their opinions on the tank um, of course some of them are going to be very biased so keep that in mind i try my best to keep my videos unbiased as when i'm reviewing a tank other than the reskins like i just say avoid the reskins in general but the base tank of this i think it's decent i don't think it's great i don't think it's bad uh i think it's right in the middle i think it's i think it's balanced i think it's a very balanced tank and does that fit in today's meta? Mm, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.